It's a freezing cold February morning here in southern England. Not a cloud in the sky. Birds are hungry. And this is, uh, by the way, another chatty um, video. Over the last 12 months or so, <clears throat> I've probably spent an inordinate amount of time on different forums because I've been housebound most of the time uh, because of the cancer treatment and all that. And I participate on um, another forum, uh, which is where you can choose your subjects. And I have many subjects, and um, one of them, of course, is music. And a little while ago, I actually saw a question posed that I've seen asked on television interviews um, oh, a thousand times. It's, it's, the question is, when writing a song, what comes first, the lyrics or the music? Further, I don't think I've ever heard a satisfactory answer. That does seem a rather banal question on the face of it. So I was going to pass on it, then it occurred to me that there was a sensible answer to be given. Because something cropped into my head, by the way. And this is what I said. If you have a story to tell or a message to convey, then the lyrics will come first and the, uh, the accompaniment will be very much secondary. But if you're a musician and you have a melody or chord progression that occurs to you while you're noodling around on your instrument or, or an, a, a tune comes into your head, uh, as, as it, is it just me? <laughs> um, then that chord progression or melody will come first and lyrics will follow just to turn it into a song. So just to break it down a bit, I'm not a prodigious songwriter, uh, but when composing lyrics, I think that what I normally do is put them down as prose and then um, rhyme them, put them into some sort of poetry form and then break it up if I can into three verses and a chorus. In fact, somewhere I remember hearing or reading that John Prine um, was to just write a story and then he'd take out his terminology he just cut out everything that didn't fit into three verses and a chorus um, and of course he's the master of telling a full story in the minimum amount of words here's an example of one of my songs um, which um, has a simple a simple progression and it's called um, Maybe Monday. I'm gonna pack my bag, I'm going down to the station. I'm gonna jump on a train that don't know my destination. Well, one thing's for sure, I ain't gonna delay. Well, I'm leaving right now or tomorrow or maybe Monday. Well, I'm changing my life. I don't have no reservation. I'm gonna start real soon. There won't be no hesitation. Well, I'm resolute, baby. I'm gonna be on my way. Well, I'm leaving right now or tomorrow or maybe Monday. Well, strike while the iron is hot. And he hesitates, he's lost, yes, my mind's made up, I'm going right away. There's a few things I gotta do, say goodbye to my friends and you. Tie up some loose ends and then I'll be on my way. Well, I'm fixing to go, I just gotta pack my suitcase. Well, it's difficult to know what I mean when I'm in some other place. So I'm making a list. Nothing to be missed, but I'm on my way. Well, I'm leaving right now. I'll be ready by next Monday. A strike while the iron is hot, and he that hesitates is lost. My mind's made up. I'm going right away. There's a few things I gotta do, and that could take a month or two. But as soon as I can, I'll be gone. Maybe one Monday. Yeah, as soon. A silly little song, 
touch of self-depreciating humour, things like that. There's also the sort of song that's much more about the chord progression. And there is a chord progression that I'm fascinated with that um, seems to have been very popular the 20s to 40s. And it's the one, one, six, two, five, one. Um, it seems almost as popular then as the of the 50s to 70s, I suppose. But here's an example of that first progression that I love. This is a Mel Travis song. Me and the dog are blues Well, we're together all the time Blues is blue Well, I am too, so We get along just fine Ain't never been a part Well, I don't expect to lose A pile of mine will always find Me and the dog on blue once had a baby, they called Lucille Had a condominium down in Louisville Well, everything was peaches till a love come home Now I'm all alone And recycle <coughs> <coughs> Lots of uh, examples of this With barely changed uh, <coughs> progressions Why did you leave heaven? Why did you leave heaven? Why did they let you go? And how's everything in heaven? Well, I would surely like to know. Why did you leave heaven for all these earthly things? How'd you lose your halo? Baby, where'd you hide your wings? Will they miss you saying, can you get back in? If I were to kiss you, would it be a sin that I'm only human? You are so divine. When you leave heaven, sweet little baby mine. Um, a touch of Big Bill Brunsey there, although it was actually written for um, a film in the 30s, I think. Um, or, I get the blues when it rains. Blues I can't lose when it rains. Each little raindrop that falls on my window pane, they all remind me where the tears I shed in vain. I sit and wait for the sun to shine down on me once again. It was raining when I met you. It was raining when I left you. So I get the blues. That chord of sign the sequence seems great for um, for jamming over and for handing the, uh, uh, the solo over the progression. So it'll be used, to, you know, in, in jazz bands and blues bands and all sorts of things. They've got a kind of story, but not much. That um, that was the whole set of lyrics of "I Get the Blues When It Rains." Um, Let's to go back to the story or message song. I'd like to play you a song that I wrote um, about my dad. Someone once said that everybody should have a dad song, or every man should probably have a dad song. Maybe women should have a, 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 a mum song, I don't know. <coughs> I think most relationships with men and their fathers uh, are difficult, um, or difficult at times. Uh, my relationship with my father was very difficult uh, and um, in the end when he got Alzheimer's strangely we got close because he became dependent on me but that's it's in the story um, I'd just like to say that I refer to my father by his lifelong nickname of Wally which um, was a diminution of his surname when he was born up until about the middle of the First World War, when having a Germanic, Germanic name in England was uh, 
n not a safe thing. So um, the name, the surname would change. Um, so this, the chord progression in this is as simple as it can be, a one, four, five. But that's really not the point, like it was in the last one. Um, it's a long story, it's got a number of verses, I couldn't get it down to three, one, two, three, four, um, with the last one rather extended. And there's a refrain or a chorus um, which I has two lines and I alternate them um, throughout the song. So uh, this, if I can get it right, is my song called Here and Long. There's a ghost that haunts my days in a look, a gesture, a hundred ways, a brooding soul that dogs me still from the pool of despair of the high of the hill. Now this was a man when I was a child with piercing blue eyes, accusing and wild, and his strong brown hands, missing two fingers, and oh good lord how his memory lives. Here and gone, here and gone. While he's still here, he's long gone. Let him go, or let him stay. Doesn't matter any time or any way. Now each day was a battle. Everyone for that jealous man who couldn't call me son. To get his approval, well, I'd work and I'd fight, and he'd say not a word, but he cried in the night. Faith, hope, and charity, they're the needs of the weak, and love is a weakness, so best never speak. Never say sorry, it's a shame, it's a crime, and a child never cries or needs help or time. Let him go, let him stay. Probably doesn't matter anyway. Who's to say? While he's gone to heaven, maybe while he's gone to hell. Well, the man grew old, his body grew frail, his mind was confused and his memory failed. Came there a time when he needed the hand, the foolish child had become a man. Bonded grew after stretching for years between two men's hearts, both salted with tears. The old man died, but I'll never forget. All for his son, it was the best. Who's to say? Who's to tell? While he's gone to heaven or to hell, let him go or let him stay. Doesn't matter any time or any way. Now the old man now is many years gone, but his son still feels it, feeling strong. Fears, the anger, the jealous rage, painful secrets of another age. He did his best, the only way he knew, knowing all that you love will be taken from you. He's gone and dead, but he lives on in the head and the heart of the son who carries his thread. And the ache in his back and the pain in his hands, his laugh, his words, his fears, his plans, they belong to his father. Here and gone, here and gone While he's still here, though he's long gone Let him go, or let him stay Doesn't matter any time, or any way Thank you, I hope that's been interesting. Cheers.